Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to show you some fixes if ISP's DHCP is not functioning properly. If you see an error that says your ISP's DHCP does not function properly, then you have to assume that uh, your router is having a problem fetching an IP address from your ISP and you have to take steps accordingly. So don't worry, you will be guided to fix this error in this video. <coughs> so how to fix your ISP's DHCP does not function properly. So the first thing that you should do is when you see an error related to the network is to run the network troubleshooter to detect and fix the problem automatically. So if the problem is because of the system or related to your device, then it will fix the DHCP does not function properly issue. So right click on the network icon which is at the bottom right corner of your screen and click on troubleshoot problems. Now wait until it finds the problem and now click on next. So if it finds any issues, click on apply this fix if it shows an option after finding the problem. So if it finds any issues, click on apply this fix if it shows an option after finding the problem. And wait for a moment and your internet connection will be back. If the troubleshooter is unable to find the problem, then follow the next solution. So the second solution is to change the DHCP settings. You need to reconfigure the DHCP settings for your router and then input the correct information given to you by your ISP. So open your web browser and then type in this one or this one on your search bar. So for instance, I have already done that and now enter your router's admin username and password when prompted. So the default username and password for most of the router is either admin and admin or user and user. So after you have successfully logged in, so click on network and then under LAN or something you will find the DHCP server. So from here you have to enable the DHCP status and hit save. If this does not fix your problem, then you should also reconfigure your router settings as well. So changing the router's query frequency. Choosing the wrong query frequency on the router setting may also lead you to the issue of DHCP not functioning properly. So change your query frequency on the router settings. So inside the one settings, go to the internet connection option and click on DHCP query frequency. And then set the frequency to continuous or aggressive and then click on save. So after that, you have to wait for about 5 minutes or so until your router recalibrates. So after that, the issue will be resolved and you will be able to use the internet without any annoying errors. But if it doesn't fix the issue, then the problem is with something else. So let's try the next solution. Now you can update your router's firmware. Updating the router's firmware not only resolves issues with DHCP, but also fixes many other network problems. To update your router's firmware, open your computer and do the following. So go to your router's manufacturer's website and search for the router's firmware update file. Download and extract it on your computer. Then install it and go to your router's admin panel. So in here, you can see the firmware upgrade in system tools. Now upload the file here by clicking on browse and then selecting the file. And then when you have done that, click on upgrade. After you have done that, reboot your router. You can also do it from the router's dashboard without downloading and uploading the file. One more thing before we end the video. The problem you are facing may be caused by your ISP as well. And if so, the above solutions described. And if so, the solutions described here won't fix the problem. In that case, you have to contact your ISP and tell them about the problem. They will change the assigned IP address and give a proper solution to the fix. And that will be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and goodbye.